Are we really back in a seller's market here in the Myrtle Beach area? Well, to find out, watch this quick video where we review the May 2023 housing numbers for the Grand Strand. Today, we're going to quickly go through the numbers for May 2023 for the Grand Strand as a whole, the oceanfront condo buildings, the Carolina forest area, and then we'll end with a quick update on new construction. So let's get started. For the month of May, for single family resale homes along the Grand Strand, homes closed at an average of 486,000. This was down from April. And this was 96.8% of the list price on average, which is again about the same as the last several months. Homes stayed on the market at an average of 89 days, which was less than the previous month. There is now only a 3.97 month supply of homes on the market, which is down again this month and actually back on the side of a seller's market. The current average list price is $552,000, which is about the same as we saw as we entered into the month of May. Now moving on to the condo and townhouse resales for the month of May throughout the Grand Strand, which closed at an average of $290,000, which is up again month over month. This was 97.5% of the list price on average, which is about the same as the last few months. We saw condos staying on the market for an average of 90 days, which is slightly lower than April. There is now a 3.88 month supply of condos on the market, which has dropped again this month and also entered into a seller's market range. The current average list price is $299,000, which is about the same as we saw as we entered into the month of May. Now, let's take a look at the May sales for condos and oceanfront buildings throughout the Grand Strand. And these condos closed at an average of $325,000, which is up again month over month. This was 96.9% .9 of the list price on average, which is down from April. And we saw an average of 81 days on market, which was a big drop back down from the previous month. There is a 3.84 month supply of condos on the market, which is again down from the previous months and also now in the range of a seller's market again. The current average list price is 337,000, which is up from where we were when we entered into the month of May. Moving inland now to the Carolina forest area. And in the month of May, the single family resale homes closed at an average of 486,000, which is up month over month. This was 97.7% of the list price on average, which is down from April. And we saw an average of 98 days on market, which is slightly up from last month. There is now a 4.8 month supply of homes on the market, which is a big drop from April and now solidly in a balanced market. The current average list price is 534,000, which is down just a bit from the previous month. For the condos and townhomes in the Carolina forest area in the month of May, they closed at an average sold price of 227,000, which is down from April. This was 97.6% of the list price, which is about the same as the previous month. We saw an average of 88 days on market, which was up this month. As we ended the month of May, we are at a 4.52 month supply of homes, which is up month over month and also now perfectly a balanced market. The current average list price is 242,000, which is the exact same as last month. Finally, let's take a look at new construction sales throughout the Grand Strand. And the average sold price for the month of May for new homes was 433,000, which is up from April. 
However, the list to sales price ratio remained about the same at 98.6% for May closings. So at the end of the day, we saw the market trending back towards a seller's market in April. And for sure enough, the numbers for May show that most segments of the real estate market here are now back in a seller's market. If this information was helpful to you, appreciate it if you'd leave a like on this video. And remember, we are gonna keep you updated on what happens in the market here in the Grand Strand. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our great weekly videos.